I love this country, Oprah. I, I'm not trying to avoid my taxes. I was going to pay my taxes, Oprah. Yeah, you know. I know you was. I was. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I know you was. But then the album flopped. Aha. Uh -huh. So the album flopped. So we actually didn't, uh, we didn't no, have. I don't even think, you know, the way it's written, <laughs> I don't even think. It doesn't even sound like you were trying to avoid your taxes. You're just like, you don't even know you're supposed to be paying your taxes. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to that kind of stuff. I, well, I, I, right. I, I know you're up with your taxes now, Will. We know that for sure, OK? So right before Fresh Prince mm -hmm. of Bel-Air, I think people would be surprised to know, this is the first time I realized this, is that you basically lost everything. The government seized your cars. Yep. It took your home. Mm -hmm. You ended up in jail. Mm -hmm. And you describe it in two words, actually, rock bottom. Rock bottom. What was at the root of that downfall, Will? You know what? It's like... And the life lesson you took from it. So, so what, what, you know, when it rains, it pours. Yeah. Right? So, um... You know, getting into the, the fight at the radio station that, you know, Charlie yeah. punching the dude that landed yeah, in, me in, in jail. jail. So the money is gone, the car's gone. I'm laying on the floor in a jail cell. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I won a Grammy eight months ago, right? Like, what is happening? Mm -hmm. And... It's just that, just that, the, the spiral when it when, when it starts going the other way. Mm -hmm. It's like sometimes you just have to get out the way and just wait, wait till the 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 you know the the downward spiral stops. But, but it's it a was... spiral that you make so very clear and will that you created. Yes. And now you can see it yourself. You see how the energy of yourself, uh, yep. your, everything that you were doing, created that exact moment. Yeah, I, t I talk about the the, um, the idea of natural destruction versus self destruction. Yeah, and you know, Im impermanence is the law of the, the the universe. So things are going to deteriorate. Everything's going to grow. It's going to deteriorate and die. And you got to be ready to make the next thing. And that's natural, right? So we all have to contend with the the entropy of the the, the universe in that way. That's why it's such a crime when you do it to yourself. It's like... And that's when you hate yourself you the most. Don't, oh do my God. don't do it to yourself. I love when you say this, though. There's a strange thing that happens when somebody falls. Your demise somehow proves to everybody you ever disagreed with that they were right yep. <laughs> and you were wrong. They develop a smugness and seem to get a brutal enjoyment out of the fact that God is finally punishing you. Mm -hmm. People tend to have a schizophrenic relationship with winners. If you're down too long, you become an underdog and they feel impelled to root for you. But if you are ever unfortunate enough to be up too long, you better get a helmet. helmet. I was like, <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> Don't we know that? Yes, yes, absolutely. That's one of the things that I hope people can take away from the book when you see the... That's, that's you right. Know, like, that's, you're not going to get around that. Yep. That you're not going to get around the rise and fall and the rise and fall of... You just got to be able to hold on to yourself. You just got to be able to happens. hold on. And yes. it's like, it's endure when it's time to endure, enjoy when it's time to enjoy, you know? But you're not going to get around the ups and downs of that. And, you know, it took me a few of them to realize that... Um, it's not because I'm stupid. It's not because I'm weak. It's not because I'm a, a coward. coward. It's not. It's not any of that. It's like that's what life is. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is, you know. And all of those things are the the natural ebb and flow and the natural rise and fall. And if we can relax, you know, and settle into it. Then yeah. we can en enjoy, you know, when the springtime is there, and we just buckle down when the winter comes, but we're not going to be able to get around seasons. 